Okay, welcome to Peer to Peer the Game. Uh, we're going to be demoing the game and showing you how to play. This is Rich Kopaz, Andrew Parks, Ed Arnold Berkowitz, and Isaac Berkowitz. I'm Ben Chung. Uh, so I'm going to describe how this game goes. It's a team. Um, it's a team deck building game. So two versus two. In this case, uh, the each team will start with a set of cards in their group um, group hand um, and group deck. So uh, the decks are fixed um, to these always these cards. So one team will always have these cards, another team will always have these cards. So you want to take out the, the one of information, the three of information, the two of science, the one of tech, and the four of service, and that will be one team's group deck, and the other team's group deck will be that. Um, so you're going to take these cards, and uh, that'll be the deck, and you're going to shuffle them up, and that'll form the group deck. One team will be randomly assigned to be the, the first team, uh, in, as indicated by the ball in this case. And then you're going to shuffle the, the rest of the cards, the 54 cards minus those eight, uh, 10 cards. And then you're going to reveal cards until, for, so I'll do it for uh, Andrew and Rich first. You're going to reveal cards until you reveal two of the venture cards. So that's the, a card with the little building symbol. In that case, that's a group symbol, so we don't, we're not going to use that. Um, that's the group symbol. <coughs> okay, so now they would decide who, who they each start with one card, and they'll have one venture each. I gotta have virtual. Okay, <laughs> and uh, for Ed and Isaac, do the same. This one there. Okay, so in between those two, they get to be spacey or laboratory. Seems closer. Right. I'll be spacing. Okay, so then you would shuffle up the remaining cards, and this forms the customer deck. So this is the the deck that is used to um, that you're going to use to assist. And why you cut that? Cut that. So then we're going to two customers will start um, on the row. Uh, every turn, two customers come out until one team scores two uh, points, and then three will come out turn after turn. So we'll play, for the first two turns, we'll play face up. So you would draw four cards into the group hand. Normally this would be shared and secret amongst um, the teams, but we'll, for the first two turns we'll play face up. So you're going to draw four cards into the group hand. Um, so this, is, uh, this would be shared between Ed and Isaac, and this is a hand that would be shared between uh, Rich and Andrew. <laughs> so how you assist a customer is the value of the cards must equal the value of the card you're trying to assist. So for example, a 411 in this case, uh, 4 plus 1 plus 1 uh, equals 6. So this, this set of cards could be used to assist the food services card. Um, and at least one of the cards matches the, um, <coughs> the domain or the suit of the card you're trying to help. Before um, the phase goes, the turn goes, you can use effects. You uh, assist customers. And then you can use, uh, you assist one customer, and then you can use effects, and then you can try to assist another customer if you can. So right now, the, um, the, the Ed and Isaac are, are going first, so they could choose to use one of their, uh, one of their group effects, and it would go to the other team, they could use one of their effects, and then it would come back, and so forth, until neither team wants to play an effect. You can play, in a, uh, you can play a venture effect um, only if it has the little building, but you start, they each start with a card, so you're able to use the venture effect. Um, you can use group effects in the group hand if they have the little group hand symbol. So all these cards, uh, all your starting cards you're able to use because all of them have the group hand symbol. So for example, this card has draw a card and discard a card, they could use that effect. Um, when this card is used to assist, you can put the, the assist card in the group discard. Um, and this is reveal the top card of the group deck, a group card may be exchanged with the revealed card. Um, Isaac has, look at the top two cards of the customer deck, you can change the value of a science um, group card to a 7. Ed has a, change the value of a, of a science or tech card to, to a 6. That's really good. And I, can, can you, I can discard up the two group cards to draw that many cards into the group hand. And Rich, you have? I can reveal the top three cards of the customer deck and then put one of them on the bottom of the customer deck. So it would set up the next turn. Yes. Okay, so Ed and Isaac get to use an effect if they wish. Okay. Do you want to so I'm thinking that we since just, this we, can change the science and this can change the settings, mm -hmm. then it can make it a 13 in total. And since this is 13, 
All we need is a science and a tech. Do we have it? We have a tech, but no science. Is there a way to... So if we use this ability, then we could draw a card, and then this card, this card. And then we can have both. Alright, let's go for it. So we sure. will reveal this. It says yep. draw a card. Which gets us this one. Hey, and then we can discard a card, and we can discard this, act, this card we just played, right? Yes. But we can discard it. anything, but yeah. yeah so we'll discard okay. right, so this discard. is now in your hand. Um, so they, they drew their last card in their group um, their group deck. Uh, they, they're using... Um, no, they used this effect, and they drew a card into their group hand, and then this is now in their group discard. And then we go to um, Andrew and Rich. Sure. So I was going to suggest effect. using this, since we have two with that symbol. Yeah, we have so many ones, and there's yep. something that is big. So we can dump this. We dump this and draw. Sure. Do up the two cards, and just do one. Well, we only have one in our disc. We only have one to draw from because it's coming from our group pile, right? Um, that's correct. So, all right. Get slightly higher. Still not enough to get yep. to that, and that's used. It ends back. All right. We didn't do this yet. Yeah. So, uh, so, do you want to do yours, or should I do mine? Um, I so doubt that it matters. Do we do this when we do the play, yeah, or so before? Yeah, so change the value of a, of a sum. Is that when we do the play, or is that... Just now. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we're going to change this one to a six. Six. Okay, this becomes a six. All right, and you can do something. I mean, what? we might as well do this just to try to set up the next turn, reveal the top three cards of the customer deck. And then we're going to put one on the bottom. So this would be revealed to all players, so... Right. This was the top one, though, yeah, right? Because yeah, we're going to go back in the same order. So which one do we want on the bottom? So Basically the one that's not useful, the one we think we maybe won't be able to go for in the future. Right. Um, I, mean, I guess you get rid of one of the nines, maybe. Yeah. Maybe get rid of the extra nine. Sure. Although we're good with that type, so... Yeah, so I think we get rid of the video production. Okay. Uh, but in the same so order, order, right? Yep. So Okay. All right. So we'll do your effect. I'll right? activate this. Look at the top two cards of the customer deck. I can change the yep, value. Everyone knows. Oh, wait. Yep. This yeah, right? Sure. Yep. yep. We just saw those two cards. Yep. So we go back. Let's just let's go back. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Then I'll change the value of this to a seven. So this is a six, and this is a seven. Yep. Okay. So now um, you now players are done with playing their effects and. What you would do is you would take cards um, to try to assist the customer. So, so you basically, these two to go are the six and the seven, and we can yep. use them the thirteen. And it looks like they're going they stay for the thirteen, which is actually good for yeah, us because yeah. otherwise we'd be bone. Right. So yeah, I say we'll yep. take the six. Okay. Yep. Okay. So both both players um, mm -hmm. play cards face down, and they're these. This would normally be in a hand like this. Um, so. These are the cards that are going to be used to assist customers, um, and they reveal. This team would reveal first, so they would reveal their cards and declare which customer they're trying to mm -hmm. help. So, so in this case, the R six and R seven, yep. and the symbols match. One, at least one symbol is a science card, and then um, you would reveal. Yep. So six, we had at least one symbol that reveals mm -hmm. that matches. Right. Right. Okay. So once you assist a customer, there's um, essentially one of three things that can happen. So you may have a card, in the, and in this case, this is a good example. Uh, once card is used to assist a, a customer, the assisted customer card may be added to the group discard. So that's one thing that can happen. Another thing that could happen is you can add a card to a player's venture. So um, you could add a, a card to the, the player's venture, and um, <coughs> the third thing that can happen is you could score the card. So uh, in this case. Let's say they, they choose to use this. They're going to add this to the group discard. That's their group discard. Immediately, all the cards get uh, flushed after assisting a customer into the group discard. And then at the end of the turn, they're all going to flush into the uh, group discard. Except they resolve yeah, theirs so, first because yeah, yeah. they're first Correct. player. So they're going to resolve. Yeah, that's true. So thank you. So you're going to resolve this. And these would immediately go into the discard. Mm -hmm. And you could choose to either score that or add it to one of your... I think uh, we want to keep that so one, So right? because it's a very high number and we can't use it on many things, and it's got a very useful uh, venture ability, I think we should put it into one of our ventures. Do you want it or should I take it? Uh, all yours. Okay. 